Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are, uh, doing something. Uh, we are upgrading the RAM in this Pappy Lion PC, and you might remember this PC, uh, from previous videos, uh, like the turning on video and the upgrading PC one, you know, two videos, so I'll leave that in the, uh, description below, but upgrading the RAM, you know, if, you don't feel too comfortable about upgrading your RAM. Maybe this will give you some confidence. So, yeah. So, first things first. A lot of people might notice. Know this, but, you know, you pull on this panel and remove it. Mine's a little stuck. There you go. Panel removed. And, on Wednesday when I was dumpster diving, I found this box full of RAM. So... I am going to replace it with DDR3 6 gig gigs of RAM. Can pause there if you want. 6 gigabyte right there. And it says DDR3 on the side. So DDR3 6 gigabytes of RAM. Um, that will really give a boost to this computer. But first things first, remove all the RAM. Okay, let's put this RAM. Okay, now we can remove our RAM. And I only have three DIMMs of this type. So we'll have to put one of the old ones back. So putting our first six gigabyte card in. Is this even compatible? Is it compatible? Um, let's see. Is it compatible with this computer? Well, yes, we're not doing that. This type of RAM. Um, we've got this. Um, how many gigs is this? One gigabyte? I have this box full of RAM in a cigar box. Box full of RAM. You got all sorts of RAM. One gigabyte. Four gigabyte. This can really boost the performance. Um, and, once again, it's not compatible. Why are all these RAMs not compatible with this computer? Um, let me dig a little farther in. We got a one gigabyte DIMM, probably. Yep, that's probably one gigabyte. I don't know. Um, okay. There's a lot of one gig ones in here. Okay, I think I found the RAM. This one is one gigabyte too. Oh my god. Can I find it at least? Four gigabyte. I think this one will fix some Hynix. You can take a look at the card. If it can focus. It's the four gigabyte card. Once again, it is not compatible. So, one of these RAMs here, this one is the 2 gigabyte. Yeah, you can see the difference. Actually, let me do it like this. OK. 
and see the difference between these rams and the other rams. So I gotta find one that's like this, but is a two gigabyte or four gigabyte dim. This one's two gigs, but it is not aligned with this type of RAM. Ouch. Um, four gigs. I hope this one works. So close. Um, I think this one was the incompatible one. Yup, incompatible. Hmm. So many of these RAMs are incompatible with this computer. Um, yeah, that RAM slots in fine, but got this whole box of RAM. And does this one fit? So close! So close! That was a close one. Um, wait, I think this one is the same as this one. We got a match! So, we got these matching ones that we can put in. There we go. Slot them in. It's kind of hard to see when it's dark. But at the end, you can manage to get these cards in. All right. So, trying to find some more RAM, one gigabyte. One gigabyte, 512 megabyte, one gigabyte, two hundred fifty six megabytes is not gonna work. Two gigabyte, let's see if this one fits. I doubt it will. Nope, did not fit. So now I gotta go through the pile of rams. Like, look at this. It's a mess, except for these. Those came separate. But let's go ahead and try to find some rams that fit. But first, things first. You gotta get one of the dims out so that I can compare and make sure I found the right one so this one looks pretty close but is not you can see they're not and this one was a I don't know I don't have the time do that but there's a lot of these one gigabyte dims not sure if you can see that but one gigabyte not one gigabyte and oh this one might work two gigabyte that does not fit okay um found a match that is one gigabyte there's a match that's one gigabyte. And this is from Super Talent. I don't know what that company is. Uh, sorry, that didn't really focus well. There. But this, I found this entire box of RAM, which was a lucky one.
Look at this one. I don't know how many gigs this one is, but it's definitely a short one. This one doesn't say. That's weird. Oh, wait a minute. This is also... Oh, I think I did them the wrong way, so... This is the the third DIN for this computer. So that's nice. Got two DIMs. This one is to compare. Okay, this one is just a pure difference. The blue ones are in gen are a general difference. This one is a so ever slightly different. This one's different. This one was the one that was slightly different. Oh my god! So many RAMs that could be used. Um, uh, they don't fit. And one gigabyte. One gigabyte. Four gigabyte. Let's see if this one it works. No, nope. does not work. Very clear difference. Come on, come on. One gigabyte. Ooh. What? Oh man. Okay. Gotta keep looking for the RAM. Because you can see there's only these RAMs in here. They don't really do much. Oh, this one might work. But it's one gigabyte. Um, one gigabyte. Might have to go with one of these. Oh my god, I just noticed something on here. It's totally random, but read that. Read that. That sounds like an inappropriate word. Oh my god, that is crazy. But it's supposed to say assembled in China, but I can't see what RAM it is. Um, yep, that one's the same, same. Four, this is a four gigabyte one that won't fit. This, all the, I doubt the blue ones can fit. No. I don't think. Why is there a blue RAM dim and a green RAM dim? Actually, this one does fit, but it is one gigabyte. Okay. One gigabyte. One gigabyte. Gotta find a. At least two or four gigabyte. Two gigabyte does not match. Two gigabyte does not match. Two gigabyte does not match. But why are there different RAM card slots? Why can't they all be the same? Wait. 
This one is one gigabyte. I wanted the blue one. Two gigabyte. Two gigabyte does not fit. Two gigabyte does not fit. I wish I could really put these RAMs in. These are like gaming RAM or something. It's really powerful looking. Does not fit. Does not fit. Just by a little bit. Like, yeah, you could say all these RAMs are the same size, but they're not good enough. They're not the right size. So, so far we have four gigabytes of RAM in our computer. And if we add another to it, we'll have six gigabytes. And if we add another one gigabyte, we'll have seven gigabytes. I think that should do. So let's just put these RAMs in. Flip them in. So, I'm going to put this ram in. Because this one fits the computer. So, this video turned from a tutorial to finding which RAMs fit in this computer. Wow, so much fun. So, we got the RAM in, finally. And here is the troubles of cleaning RAM. You know, these are a lot of RAM, you know? When I was calling my friend, I showed him, he was like, what the heck? surprised of how much RAM. Like, it was a cigar box, but filled with goodies. Have more here. And now, we can try to start it up. So, um, we can just move this aside. Stand this up. can stand this computer up. There we go. Can put it in this position so that our power supply cable can slot in. So there we go, plugging in our power supply and see starting up but now we need to plug in keyboards and mouse and then we need to plug in the display output on oh wow that's kind of loud. Well, I guess we gotta get the only display output cable on this computer. got our VGA cable and now we are going to plug it in our computer plug it in tighten it enough oops sorry about that but
And also, uh, today I will be posting two videos, one revamped version of my other videos, one of my testing uh, videos. I'm currently testing editing. I can't import another video, so that's sad. Oh, gotta get this. That should be good enough. And now... Connect a mouse. And there is, let me just go ahead and eject this disc. But take a look at this. This is an original Microsoft Windows Vista install disc. No way, like, that is incredible. Incredible, incredible, incredible. But, you know, the things, the things, and you have to do it. And I gotta look for the password on my phone. Great iPhone 5S, with a crack. I don't know why I showed that on camera, but it was like, great iPhone 5S with a crack, and it does have a crack. Um, which, when I got this phone, it was in perfect condition. It was actually, um, and you know, the 5C videos if you're a long-term subscriber, but there's the 5C video. That's from one of my 20 lot iPhones, uh, but I never really showed that on video. Okay. I got the password. The VGA input. Come on. I know you can do this monitor. It's twenty it's been twenty two minutes since I started the video. Oh, there we go. Wait, I forgot to connect the audio. Oh, man. Wait, where's the audio connection? It's right here. Audio. Turn the audio on. Wait. I gotta unplug this and plug this in. I'm Even though I have an extension cable, I'm out of outlets. I don't know what happened there. HP invent. Okay. Gotta wait for it to boot up again. boot windows normally and if you're wondering what this is it's a dvd drive i found it at the dumpster it doesn't read discs but it's fun to open and close so if you're wondering what that was because you know, it's like right there in the corner right there man this install disc looks nosh Man, I really do love that loading thing on Windows Vista. I'm not sure if you hear that, but the DVD drive is trying to spin up the disc. But it doesn't spin up. And if you're wondering what this is, this is a PS2 PlayStation 2. I have the PlayStation 1 thing. Wow. But it should be booting up soon. Move 
man. Plug it in. Okay, there's our mouse. Oh, went away. Coming up on 20. I love that sound. Okay. Let me type in the password. Come on. Home premium. This is okay for web browsing, but Vista not supported on a lot of things, so. Oh my god. Okay, so I have my internet thing. Internet. Internet USB, and I have to plug it into the back. Because I have to, because the front USB port's filled. So, upgrading the RAM and trying to go to, and trying to use this. What's this? And this optical drive does work. I did watch a movie on this thing before. Nice. But. This disc right here has a weird video on it. But. I gotta connect to internet. Connect to a network. Oh man. Let me plug this USB in again. Well, man, I love this operating system. The design is nice, you know, it's nice, but that will do for this video, and I hope you guys like and subscribe, and smash the bell, you know, you gotta, you gotta smash it, and, uh, and, uh, press the like button, and you gotta smash the like button so hard, you know, on your phone, and crack it. Okay, so, uh, on that note, uh, I hope you have a great day, and stay, stay, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!